Hello everyone, welcome back to another tutorial. Today I just wanted to make a super quick video about how to get some more high end out of your leads or honestly you can use this for any sound. It's very, very simple. So what you're going to do is load Serum up and this is called a transient shaper. And so what that is, is if we go to LFO one here, uh, we're going to make, you know what, let's leave it at a quarter note. You can turn it up if you want, uh, but I'm going to double click on the line so that we get another point here and I'm going to kind of make a shape like you can see me making right now. I'm actually going to double click another point because we want it to be flat at the bottom like this. And then I'm going to do some sort of shape like that. So um, you can see it's got this very sharp uh, angular shape here. So I don't know what that is in degrees, a hundred something, uh, probably like 100, 510 degree angle. Go to the level here. So take your LFO. Um, so you just click on it with the left click and drag that to the level of this right here. So very important as well. Go to the level of the saw. So your oscillator A and just turn that down because uh, we're not going to need this sound. So then click the noise option, turn this on, and then you're going to go to, um, let's see, where is it? Under analog and go to the bright white noise. So this option right here and then take your level and you can set this um, to whatever you feel is comfortable. Probably I would do anything above 60 and above. You can go to 100 if you want. I like to kind of just go in to the middle here and just do like 80%. And you can see what this actually did was create a really sharp uh, noise, what is referred to in music as a transient shaper. So you can see it creates that clicking noise. And what you use that for is when you have a sound that's lacking in high end, let's like, let's just like grab a bass loop or something and we'll put this transient shaper on top of it. So what you do is just go into your piano roll, go to the C5, click it in there. Very important also to set this to trigger as well. And so then if we take our transient shaper that we made, right, just go in there and just every time there is a hit in the base. You just want to place one of these guys. So then once the transient shaper is uh, placed into the playlist, like I have here, where you're, wherever you want those transient hits, now we're going to have stronger high end. So you can do whatever you want with this. You can make it super loud. You can make it super quiet if you just want like some extra little bit of that high end on a sound if you feel like it's lacking. I tend to do it quite aggressively just because I feel like it really gives it that high end punch that I'm looking for. So uh, yeah, it's a cool trick to get some more high end. This is what it's like without it. And here is the bass with the transient shaper. So I can hear it in my headphones. I don't know how well it gets picked up in the YouTube video, but definitely a good trick for you producers out there if you need a little bit more high end in your track.